30 hours left from Portugal and decided to explore the southern coastline. We started out in Nazaré, home of the biggest waves in the world, and made our way down south trying to make the most of the 30 hours we had left before we had to be at the Faro Airport. What's up everybody? We're in Portugal right now, Nazaré, home of the biggest waves in the world. So a great place to start our Portugal journey down the coast. Today we're hitting this. We're gonna travel down the coast all the way to Faro, but we're gonna fly out and then hit some stuff along the way. Smaller than you They're way smaller. I thought they were like this one. Anything wrong with that? No. Also crazy that the biggest wave ever surfed was on a Porsche. This guy. Hashtag file. Most unlikely place. This wave out there. Violent. It's not. seen all the pictures and crazy stuff that's been happening, but you're looking out and it's just calm. So a little bummer that we didn't catch it in the winter, but awesome spot. When we were getting the rental car earlier, the guy was telling us to check out Panish. So we're heading there now. Showed us a couple pictures on Google Images and it looks sweet. So let's see how it is. here was actually formed uh, by a volcano and as you can see it's a pretty rocky shoreline a lot of shipwrecks here in the past pretty cool spot overall Tough to get out of here too, so I don't, I don't know. You trying to scout it out on drone to see if you can find anything? See if we can go find a surf shop somewhere. Drone 
fishing. Couldn't find anything. It's hot, like nobody around. There's still people camping out here. No surfboard rentals, so guess down the coast to the next spot. This man really got his clothes hanging out our window like this. Uh, wash machine in the last place. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. No, you can figure out how to work the dryer either. Yeah, but I did my clothes in time. Yeah, you didn't tell me you were doing them so we could have done them all together. That's beat. Let's try to go to the snack bar. We found this random surf shop. We are about two minutes out. So we're heading there now. Hopefully there's a lead about where you can find a surfboard, but if not, who doesn't love you at surf shop? All right, so went in the surf shop. They have rentals and they said they could, we could put it on top of the car, but we're not sure about the conditions, so we're gonna head to the beach first. So Honestly, like, kind of got laughed at when we asked if it's possible. Probably gonna have to throw in the towel on that, but we're gonna check out the beach because she said you should just drive down and look right down here, and it looks pretty sweet, so. Gotta look one way or the other. Think about the day that we had in Folly that was like one of our most fun surf days where we were just catching small waves back and forth, back and forth. So we got Joe laying here being a surf snob. I'm gonna go check out the waves or the surf shop and see if I can't get a cheap rental. I mean, we're here in Portugal. We gotta catch a wave out here. Look at Joe making his walk of shame back up here. Oh, there he is. What made you change your mind there? Wetsuits. Yeah, and it's cheap. And cheap. Waves look any better? Uh, no, but it'll be fine. <laughs> Somebody checked when to check on the prices and realized it wasn't very expensive. And you could rent some wetsuits. Yeah. It was worthwhile. I'm glad we did it. Yeah. By no means shredding, but we did get a surf today, which is always, always good. Alright, so we're standing at the deer then go sea caves. And fortunately we get here and it's a everybody's here doing it. So tell us we can only do it. If you're paying for a tour, we just wanted to kind of break us. Tour with me, no rules, less fun. We're just going to to the top of it, get some, fly the drone over and check it out. And to be honest, we spent so much time trying to find a surf spot and surfing that it probably is good that we aren't doing this because we are on a crunch to get to the airport and it would have been cutting it close. Now we can kind of just chill, get to the airport early, get some much needed food, hadn't really eaten all day. So, you know, God's watching out again. Hey. You're not wrong. The coastline here is beautiful, really buff, and we're not even kayak here. 
But in the grand scheme of things, I would rather not kayak with a million people. We are gonna be on Majorca in a couple weeks, which is a very similar landscape, and it's an island, there's spots all around. So looking on the bright side, we'll be able to do that, and I think it'll be more enjoyable. Southern Portugal, the coast of Southern Portugal was awesome. We did the trip from Nazare down to the bottom. We barely scratched the surface and there's so many more things I can only imagine. So, would recommend it. Hopefully we'll be back, but the trip from Nazare down to the bottom was awesome. We'll see you in Mallorca.